G'day everybody, it's me again. I haven't done a uh, teardown style autopsy vid in a while and I've been doing a lot of scrapping this afternoon. Uh, chucked all those old lathe tools into this bin, filled it up, it's fucking heavy. And this bin's almost full as well. Packing away, stacking away. Some of it could have been done a better job of, but you get that. Anyway, so like it says, it's a Maglev, Mag, Maglev, Mag Air 3000 uh, recumbent exercise bike. I'm guessing by the fact it says Mag Air, there's a magnetic something or other in there. Sense the RPM maybe something, but mostly I think it just uses air for resistance. Um, Gotta figure this out anyway, take the covers off, see how it works. We'll uh, find out. Well, a couple of the screws are busted. As you thought would happen, it's been sitting in the rain and the weather for so long, so have to open it up carefully to expose the innards. Freewheeling clutch. I wonder if that's the mag for the. Well, there's the air. It's a fucking bicycle. What the hell? It's just a bicycle rim. <laughs> it's just a bloody bicycle. Literally a bicycle rim in there. And then they've riveted in these air vanes. <laughs> oh, the funny things you see sometimes. I don't know what that is. That might be the sensor for the RPMs or whatever. But apparently it, it generates its own electricity. It doesn't work anymore. It's dead. But apparently once he up on a yonder it did actually generate its own electricity. Now there's a magnet there and there's your hall sensor. So that's like a hall effect pickup there. I'm gonna steal that. Might be useful. Dodgy wiring's not useful, that's not useful, it's just a rectifier and a couple of caps. That actually might be the, the module that made the electricity from that. Anyway, I'll see if I can get that grill off and we'll have a look have a look a bit more inside. So you can figure out what's inside that hub. Mm. Well it appears I might be a bit of a dumb stuff. There was actually a power switch on the back. It may have still worked. I could have shown you it working maybe, but eh, who cares? Too late now. I thought about saving that little L C D but eh, can't be bothered. It's just too much junk laying around as it is, too much crap. Need to uh, start culling rather than collecting. Anyway, I'll try, like I said, I'll try to get that shroud off. It might not want to come off too easy, but I'll try. And uh, if I can get that shroud off, we might be able to see how the inside magnet bit works there. If not, it's not going to happen, and I'm just going to freaking cut it in half and throw it in the bin. So let's see. Oh, well, I ended up getting interrupted. Uh, ended up uh, having some dinner and uh, talking to my brother a bit. So, I managed to get the whole wheel assembly out. Now, it looks to me like there's a magnet, magnetic brake. I'm not sure what's in there. I really want to pull this apart and find out. But it appears that there's a magnetic brake here, which also generates the electricity for the uh, machine to run. Um, so there's going to be generating coils in there somewhere. And I'm not entirely sure about this outside section, because it's definitely that bit that stays still in the machine. Then this spins around it like such. So I wonder if there's some magnets in here maybe i'm not sure so i really got to pull it apart and find out we'll do a separate video on that part i hope to get the time yeah, it's definitely some kind of magnetic generator magnetic brake setup because you could actually increase and decrease the level of resistance on the controller which would mean that somehow electrically they were increasing and decreasing resistance and like i said the only way i can see that being done is with the magnetic brake um, at the same time generating enough power for the machine to run by itself. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys find that a little bit interesting. Um, it's kind of on the subject, I hope. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, maybe uh, this weekend I'll get stuck in this bastard again, try to get it running. See how time goes. Yeah, anyway, not to get distracted. Thanks for watching.